Hello everyone, this is Opster Gaming. Today I'll be showing you guys the newest update in Clash Wars 2. Um, starting off on my Opster Gaming YouTube wiki, every update I pretty much give my wiki a shout out because I was updated with the update. So with the update comes a new hero this time called Shooting Star. Um, if you can hear me very rouse because the mic is in a different position than usual because the decoration is up, not much room. So it's slightly further away from me but I'm hoping that it will be perfectly fine. Now here is the newest hero in Clash Royale Sushi Shooting Star. She is a ground epic long range hero. She's a leader type just like every single hero in the game. I swear every time I see a new hero come out it's a hero leader type. Mercenaries are arrows, archers. By the way, this was translated from Russian, I think it was, Russian to English, so if some of it's not quite right, that's the reason why. Same, just every time, pretty much. And then every time, same. Um, active skill is burning bullet, probably called something else. Same with the skill, help, wild league. He what? Heroic improvement available, and enlightenment is available. Shooting stars enlightenment. Once the hero reaches the Enlightenment, he finds. Is it? she in it? She finds a. It could be. No, it's not a he, it's a she. That's definitely a she. She finds a new look and opens a new set of updates for his active skills. Skills and skills to aid, aid evolution. It will also unlock a new type of talent called Guilty Pleasure, probably called something else. The level of active skill can be increased as soon as a certain level of Enlightenment is obtained. And we all know the rest of it, don't we? Now this stuff, I don't really like reading this because it's not entirely translated, but I'm going to read you the first line so that you know what stuff means. Level alignment 0, 1, 2, you know what that means obviously. Characteristics basic, available at alignment. This column is not really completely filled in because it's a completely new hero. Basic hero attack, 20% on 1. Basic hero health, 20%. And max your enlightened is on 1. Luranium drop 10, mutagen 2000 required to enlighten it. Luranium, as probably a lot of you will guess by knowing the numbers here and the amount of times you enlighten a hero. Luranium is ancient spirit, so what it means is ancient spirits 10 and mutagens 2000 required to enlighten the hero. So whenever you see Luranium, that means ancient spirits, of course, because the Russian I haven't translated all of it. If you do need it, translated you can easily just go like that copy paste it into google translate bang done um, easy enough as that but yeah as you scroll down there's lots more columns lots more of it um, as you see it's not translated but if you do need to translate it you can easily just copy and paste and um, i don't have the time to translate it over the wiki that's the reason why i don't translate it but I, I look at it as if I do put it on the wiki, even so I'm not going to translate it, so it's not much help to people unless you can read Russian. Unless you can read Russian, it's not much help to people. But it is help to people because if you really need the information, I'm sure you can tell kind of what the column says. So you can easily just go and copy and paste it into the Google Translate and work out what it says. So I do think it's useful in that respect. But with that, Said, that is the end of my wiki part of the video. Now we'll be transitioning over to in game Clash Lords 1. As the update comes out in Clash Lords 2 tomorrow, I'm guessing Thursday, so the 3rd of December, because usually Clash Lords 1 gets the update the day before, is it maybe? Yeah, I think it's the day before, and the Chinese Taiwanese server gets it two days before, so yeah. So Clash Wars 2 should get it tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the next part of the video in about a second. Hello everyone, this is Black Op here, also known as Opster Gaming. Um, I'm sure that you've just seen the part like a couple of seconds ago showing my Ricky to you guys. Um, I hope that was helpful to you guys to see the new hero in the game. Shooting star. Now I will be just looking at the new things in the game, the other new thing. I was supposed to put it up on my left screen so I could drag it across, but I didn't. Stupid me. 
Was it me? Definitely, but um, I I can't remember anyway. So there's a new Gleefs effect, which is I don't remember. Actually, it'll be in game, isn't it? So guys, it'll be all be in the exciting events page. Right? Let's go down. Guys, where did the uh, these updates thing? They used to have the update thing in here. Did they really get rid of the updates thing inside the game? Come on. Why would you get rid of that? That's like. That was one of the actually helpful things. Zange building? What does that mean? Ooh, that's cool. Old building models and the new building models. Ooh, never seen that before, guys. Let's try it. <laughs> I don't know, I like my old building models. But yeah, for sure, but you can always switch it anyway. So, have they uh, made new base design? Have they of all the buildings? Or is it you reckon just a town hall? I don't know. It's interesting, I didn't see that in the update info. Information of what I read, but I didn't exactly read it fully to be fair. Um, you know what, guys, I'm actually going to get on the update info, so let's go to In Progress Clash Laws 2. Update, and we've got the update info right here. Very good, guys. New Gleaf effect, Gleaf Resonant. Reson oh my god, I can't say it. Resonance. Resonance. Oh man. No, why can't say that? Gleaf's on aid heroes, effect deployed heroes. So that's good news. Ish. Because, of course, pro players are going to be able to max it out. Switch between old and new building models, so that is part of the new update. I didn't read that. New hero shooting start, new hero costumes. Wolven Fiend's got a new hero costume called Primal Wolf. raf has got a new hero costume called Grand Genie. Balance optimizations. Increase the difficulty of guild boss, which is good ish. Yeah, as well as good news. Various optimizations and bug fixes, which will also be useful. So, guys, I'm going to show you. I'm sure you guys have the new costumes. So I got it in. Go on, man, I can't see. Where, where's the Clash Wolves? You guys. Zillini. Um, hero costumes. Come on, it's in here somewhere, isn't it? There we go. Wolvenveen. He is the new costume. Just going to really be showing you guys this. Um, I will be putting this up on. My Ricky as well, probably. Not straight away, but it will go up there eventually. That's very, very. Well, as the new Wolverine costume. Interesting. I'm not the biggest fan of it, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I prefer his old one, to be honest with you. I what I used to look like. Of course, they haven't changed what I used to look like, but he was costume wise. So I don't count it as an improvement. Then he has the Wrath costume. Um, let's see. Once again, it's childish, childish looking. Raph's supposed to be like a creepy looking purple ghost thing, isn't he? But that looks a bit childish to me. It's not quite what I wanted, really. But now let's look at. Ooh, that's interesting, you know? No. Does it really just look different? Guys, I have a question. When does Supercell buy over Clash Wars 2? Because that looks like Clash of Clans. That looks like. There's a, that looks like an Elixir Collector. That looks like the Canon of Clash of Clans. That looks. Mm, okay, I don't recognize that one very much. The Reap looks the same. Inferno Tower looks like. It looks like an Inferno Tower. Inferno Tower really does. Yeah. This really does actually, guys. When did Supercell buy Clash Wars 2? Because this looks like it's a Supercell game now. It looks like Clash of Clans. Overall, do I think it's an improvement? Personal preferences on it. It looks new. Everybody likes things whenever it gets a new update. You always think, yeah, a new update looks good. But to me, I'm looking and I'm going, 
It doesn't make any bit of a difference to my actual in-game play. It doesn't make any difference. But, yeah, it looks... In my opinion, I, I don't really like the fact that they've made it more like Clash Clans. Because I think they should be trying to make themselves different from Clash Clans. Because... Making it look more like Clash of Clans is it's more like trying to copy it in a way, being second to it. Whereas really you want it to be being different, so yeah. But I'm not really too sure, it's not bad, but it's not as good as well either, but yeah, when did Supercell buy, buy over Clash of turn now? That air defense really does look like the one, the one from Clash of Clans, I'll tell you that. Yeah, but um, it's interesting. It really is. It's really interesting. Um, oh, we got the new hero in here. I'll get a read a little bit of skills. Shooting Star. I don't like the new Shooting Star very much, I don't. But Shooting Star, really? Look at the hero, is it? Remind you in any way of a shooting star? I've been a great insight. It's the greatest term I've created ever. Ranged attack, ranged attack, ground unit, lead type hero, fires a piercing shot at the furthest enemy hero, dealing 60% attack damage on all enemies hit along the way. He was hit along the way, taking an additional 20% attack damage, and has a 15% chance to be inflicted with volatile. The shot explodes when it reaches the target, dealing 120 percent attack damage in an area, and inflicts volatile on the target. Enemies inflicted with volatile explode every two seconds, dealing 30 percent attack damage in an area. Volatile also reduces the enemy's damage reduction by five percent and HP recovered by 10 percent. Last 10 seconds, it costs full rage at the very beginning. Active skill is Burning Passion. Uh, oh, I can read this too much. Age skill is Violent Mob. Divine is Fatal Attraction. Okay. <laughs> That's a uh, strange name to put as a Divine skill, but yeah. Okay. She is old man uses fatal attraction when near death if she has not used this skill before. So that's not bad actually, that's pretty good. So it's a bomb. I, I think this hero is um, quite unique. Yeah, I think it's quite a unique hero. Um, bomb joint skull can quite a fail so. <laughs> Um, I don't know guys, it, this, this update seems very super cellized. No, it's not a word, but Zeusalize, you know what I mean? It seems very much like the creative team's gone and tried to take some ideas in Supercell, which I suppose is good. It's good, we want different, we want change, but like this is a bit... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, it's not bad. I don't know. I've seen worse, guys. I'm seeing a lot worse than this, aren't we? I think the hero hall's actually a lot better. Look, pretty cool, actually. Really good, actually. Can you see it? I think that looks a lot better, actually. A lot better. Um, don't join my guild. It's um, randomly made. Don't join it. Challenging. Um, the guild boss has been made harder. Increased deployed heroes at top of 30%. Can we do that one? I don't I can't tell you if he's been made well, I know he's been made better for the health and tap and increase and stuff like that. Um I'm just trying to think of showing you guys costumes, new hero, new base design and new base model. Um Yeah, I think I've shown you guys everything, aren't I? Uh, I hope this video is useful to you guys to um, let you guys all know what the update is about, what's new and everything like that. Always aim to try and um, get all the information across to you guys. Overall, 
Some run the update out of 10. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It's not a bad update. I think it's quite good. New base model has got, it's got new new designs on all buildings. I do think that they'd already got new designs on the buildings. So necessarily it wasn't really needed. No, another thing is I don't think it was needed. It doesn't make any actual change in the game. I don't think it's what we needed. So that's my opinion on it. It's good. It looks visually pleasing. But it's not what we needed in the game. But it's still like New hero, always nice to have a new hero, can't complain, hero looks good, looks like it'll be interesting, change over the game a bit, I think that's good news, I'll put on the hero is a good thing, new hero costumes, yeah great, new hero costumes, more paid to play, um, the glee thing with the eight heroes, new glee effect, that's good as well, so overall I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10, it's not a bad update, it's quite a good one actually, I think, I think, it's, a, I think it's a better one of the updates I've ever been last year, but I would like some new game modes. Not necessarily new game modes. I think we've got enough game modes. I think take the ones that we've already got and prove them. I'm sure you guys have seen my video where I talked about what I'd like to see from my GG in future. Did I ever make that video? Yeah. I'm not sure if I ever made that. I know I made an IGG. You know, Clash Wars 2 merged all servers together, a global server video, but did I actually make a video on what I would like to see for uh, future updates? I don't think I actually do, that's, that'll be my next video, I'm planning to make some more soon actually, good job I actually remember that one now. So that will probably be my next few videos over the next month or two, month probably, I think I'll be over the next month though. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting actually make them, I'll enjoy that. I enjoy making them ones. They're, they're actually the videos which I enjoy making really. Update videos I enjoy making too. So yeah, I'll try and make some of them. Um, on my latest poll that I put up on the channel, people voted for Battle Royale and Guild Boss, I think. Was it? Or, no, is it Guild Clash? Guild Boss? I'll have to check. But um, whatever the two most voted things were, I'm going to be making videos on them soon. Their basic videos basically just Guild Clash tax, Battle Royale tax. I, I would prefer Guild Clash and longer videos to make it makes for better videos, really. Um, Guild Boss, I also go for videos as well. Especially under the new Guild Boss now, improved Guild Boss it might actually be quite interesting. So, yeah, I think that'll be quite interesting, really, guys. And I'm going to leave the video off there then. That's not Matt Mazar, okay, I'm going to Matt now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, hope it was useful. My next video is coming out tomorrow. That video will be Clash Wars 2 Best AD vs 2020. Um, the one which came out last week, but didn't come out last week. If I'm sure you guys know what I mean by that. That um, the special video from me I made a special video that I did. I accidentally put the Clash Wars 2 resources video in instead of the Clash of Lords 2 <laughs> Best AD Rose video. And not only that, I actually edited that video twice as well somehow. I don't know how it happened. But I reckon I made it late at night, I reckon I did, and I was well tired, not even thinking. I reckon that's what happened. Yeah, um, I've remade the video now and it's been uh, scheduled for tomorrow at 10 a.m. So the video will be coming out and I'm 110% sure that it is actually the right video this time. So I'll be seeing you guys in that video. And for now, that'll be me. See you guys in the next one. For now, peace out.